Internet Online Surfing Internet is the largest wide area network. It provides us many facilities like email, e-commerce, blogging, podcasting, Google Drive, etc. But it is very important to be aware and follow some netiquette while using internet. Features to be kept in mind while using internet. Avoid getting into unnecessary arguments online during a chat and discussions with other users. Remember that all other internet users are strangers. You do not know who you are chatting with, so be careful. Be extremely careful about how you share personal information about yourself online. Choose your chatting nickname carefully so that others are not aware of your real name. Do not share personal information in public space online. Do not give it to strangers. Be extremely cautious about meeting an online introduced person. If you choose to meet, do so in a public place along with an escort. If a situation online becomes hostile, log off and if a situation places you in fear, contact local police. Save all communications for evidence. Do not edit it in any way. Also, keep a record of your contacts and inform law enforcement officials. Network should be protected from the access of unauthorized persons. Password should be changed at regular interval of time and this should be alphanumeric and should be difficult to judge. Email Most people use internet primarily to use email and surf the world wide web. What is email? Electronic mail is called email is the process of sending and receiving messages over the internet. After reading your email, you can reply, forward it to others or delete it. If you want, you can print your email messages. An email address is required to send and receive email. They usually consist of three parts a username, an at symbol, a domain name. You can log in to your email account by entering your username and password. Composing a new email message. Click Compose button. Type the recipient's email address in the to box. You can enter multiple addresses by separating them with a comma. In the CC box, carbon copy, type the email addresses. You want to receive a copy of the email. In the BCC box, blind carbon copy, type the email addresses. You want to receive a copy of the email. The email addresses of recipients who are in BCC will not appear in the headers of the message. Type a brief description of the email message in the subject box. Type the body of the email message. If you want to attach files to this message, use the browse buttons at the bottom of the page to choose files from your hard drive. You can include many attachments with the message. If you want to send your email message now, click send button. The inbox folder. Inbox is an organized place to get your mails after sign in. The sent mail folder. A copy of the sent message will be placed in the sent mail folder.
the drafts folder before sending a message that you have written you can save it as a draft in the drafts folder the trash folder trash contains those mails which you have deleted the spam folder gmail will deliver messages from members of your contact list to your inbox unless we know with high confidence about that unless we know with high confidence about that they are moved to spam folder sign out from email account open gmail in the top right click your photo click sign out